just an extra point away from tying this thing up. Myers connects on the PAT, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Time here for likely one play and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play callers just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one. A big shot down. No, no, no. Guarantee the head coach is like, don't get crazy. Take the knee. Let's get out of here. Tie game. We'll just start all over. All right, coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. This taken in about four yards deep. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. First and 10 at their own 22-yard line. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 22. And he'll start with a give to Camara. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. On the carry for well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. You know, pass complete here to Sanders. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. The tackle made by Benson Mayo. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Off the play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze. Looking long for Thomas. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw, it's Breeze. Oh, he may have gotten lucky. Tried to dump it off underneath on the check down. Nearly picked, instead it's incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. At their own 18-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this time. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 36-yard line. From the gun, it's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Carson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. 
So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now a give right side. Carson and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. And we sit in quarter number three out in Seattle. A second and 10 now. Saints 48-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Carson. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 30. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. 30 yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Throwing now, Wilson on first down. It's caught, lock it. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. At the 22 yard line. It's a gain of eight. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now a give, right side. Carson. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep. First and goal. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All tied. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Here's Carson. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Second and goal from inside the five. A pickup of two brings up second and goal at the four-yard line. From the gun, Wilson. Open is Olsen. He's got it. Touchdown, Seahawks. Touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own 26-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production. But how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. They've got the number of the offensive line and the other guys because they're getting to him before he can get started. Looking for Sanders here on the deep ball. And this is caught at the 20. Touchdown, New Orleans. Emmanuel Sanders, 73 yards. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. The receivers have been running them ragged. Maybe some tired legs in the secondary. Maybe some tired legs in the pass rush. Didn't get to him. And look what resulted. A touchdown, tie game. They've got a chance to take the lead. Will Lux to kick off for New Orleans. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Taken about seven yards deep. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense, a little less than four minutes remaining. And the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario... Get enough first downs and make them eat up their timeouts so the game ends 
when you're kneeling down with the football. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. A gain of a yard. On second and nine. Wilson. This complete to lock it. Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. The Seahawks will go for it. It's Wilson. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And he'll wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw on second and six, Wilson. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 13-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. 14-yard line, second and 11. At the Saints, 14-yard line. Wilson wants to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Carson. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. He'll wind up getting 11 on that one. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown puts him up seven. But now is when the fun begins, partner, because if you go ahead and kick the extra point, it's still a one-possession game. Go for two, you might put it out of reach. Yeah, a little decision to be made. Saints, 13. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle taken down. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 38-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They're down here in a one-score game. At the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Thomas, the intended target, and it's third down. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Benson Mayola in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down.
today's final score.